Hello wonderful people, welcome to Maria Nice Designs. I'm going to start out using Gina K Designs Amalgam Ink in Jet Black, Poppy Stamps uh, Main Street Tags, they're the stitched Main Street Tags, and I'll show you here, I use the ones that are missing there, and I'm going to show you the little stamp from Simon Says Stamp, it was a free gift with purchase. And it's just the most adorable little cute mouse that says all you need is love and cocoa. It's just so, so adorable. And that's what I'll be coloring in today. So this is the tag I made and this is one of the papers. And I'm just showing you here how I sandwiched the tag to elongate it. I'm just showing you that I left that end out of the cutting plates so that the, it wouldn't cut once it went through the die cutting machine. And I did the same to the opposite end at the bottom so that it wouldn't cut the top of the tag, just the base of the tag. The, between the sandwiches of the cutting plates, I left that hanging out. Putting in all the shadows all around. As you can see here, I'm putting around the hat to start and I'm putting it around the top of his little face, his little forehead, and he's just, he's just so cute and so tiny, and it's just a, so much fun coloring him in. I really enjoyed this, and these pencils are really, really fabulous. When you go to wet the paper, if you were to use watercolor paper, they pretty much turn into watercolor. I mean, it doesn't have a pencil mark or anything left if you use enough water. But on this paper, I didn't use any water at all. I used all pencil. I didn't want to wet the paper just in case. Uh, it's not Nina, it's just a, a, a type of um, specialty paper. And here I'm just continuing putting in all the shadows all around. Mm -hmm. And he's, you know, just getting it all put into place so that once it's all filled in, I can just begin putting in color. And what this does, it preps the colors that I am going to use. It kind of preps it so that it, you don't need to put a lot of color down initially. It darkens the color you're using already. So you don't need to put as much pigment down when you color. So here we go, we're almost done. We're putting some around the whiskers and his little, you know, right above the cup there with all the whipped cream. He just looks like he's going to enjoy that hot cocoa, that smile and that anticipation on his little cute face. Whoever the artist was that did this just did a phenomenal job. He's just the cutest thing. I can't stop saying that, he's just adorable. And I'm just going to put in a base here so that you can see that he's not in midair. He's got a place to sit and rest and enjoy that hot cup of co cocoa. <laughs> going to bring up the color here. It's the warm gray number five. And I'm gonna bring in a lighter shade. It's another warm gray. I believe it's warm gray two. I'm just going to lighten up a few of the areas, fill in a few spots. I want to make that a white area there, that section there in the hat, which would be the white furry part and the little pom-pom at the end of the hat. So that's going to be the white piece there. And I really uh, chose this paper because it has like a texture to it, almost like um, burlap. So it, it kind of gives it the feel of, of old antique looking coloration. Very, very pretty and vintage. And I'm just gonna keep on going here with the lighter shade of gray and getting his little ears shadowed in, putting a little more color on his little face and just toning down some of the background paper to give it a little more the 2d words depth and dimension <laughs> so here we go just filling in a little more here and there where all the little folds are on his sweater and coming in with the color that's the dark red 
So we're just gonna start off coloring the hat, getting that all filled in. Like you see there, the red isn't as dark as it appears. So it's actually making the color look much more uh, deep than it actually is. And as, you know, as I go up, it looks lighter and lighter. You don't need a lot of pressure. Um, the paper is smooth, there isn't a lot of tooth, but it did take on the color very well. So that's just a quick little coloring right there of his little hat. I'm gonna go over to right behind his little ear in a moment. There we go. Fill it all in. And I'm gonna do the scarf next. The scarf is nice and thick around his neck, keeping him nice and warm while he enjoys his little cocoa out in the field with the rest of the field mice. You just kind of imagine him sitting there with his little family and friends hanging out, chilling with his hot cocoa. Maybe there's a little fire there in front of him. Just something to imagine while I sit here and you know color him up because he's just so sweet that little face and I'm almost done I just have to get the area around his neck next um, I love the way the fold is drawn in here too it's just kind of waved under and around and then it has a little piece behind him so it looks like it's tied behind his neck and then just get around the little cocoa there around his little chin get it all filled in and then I'm going to go and grab, I think I'm going to use a green, which I'll make his sweater a green color. But actually, I think I started doing the little candy cane that's in his hot cocoa. Yeah, I think I'm, yeah. So that's what I was going to do next, but I chose not to do that. And here comes the mono Tombow mono eraser. Yeah, that's the pen and pencil one that has a, a rougher side for pen. And I'm going to be using that because I want to get the red a little difficult. So I want to make sure that it came off and then I smoothed it out with the pencil side. So I'm going to come in with a green color here. There you go, leaf green. I'm going to do that. Color in the little areas around the candy cane. And that'll be done in a jiffy since it's such a small area. And then we're going to continue on to the sweater next. So here we go. Oh, nope. I thought I was going to do the sweater, but I'm just making the whiter areas look whiter with a deeper gray to kind of give it a little bit of dimension there. Lightening it up a little bit. There we go. I do use the emerald green on this sweater. And I'm just going to go around where he has the folds to, to kind of deepen the color. Like I said, once the gray is on there, you don't need a lot of the actual pigment of the colored pencil because it just deepens it automatically. So all you have to do is kind of go over it lightly and it's like magic. It's like a darker color, but it's really not that much more pigment. So I'm just gonna go around and get them all shaded in. A sweet little mouse. And I'm going to give him a little bit of a fold under his belly. I'm gonna go to the cup there, go around his little mittens. There we go. The little tiny mittens are so adorable too. Everything about this mouse, this drawing is just very sweet. I'm just gonna keep on going here, as you can see. And I think I'm going to let you all enjoy a little bit of music. Just relax and watch the rest. Thank you for joining me. Be back soon.
Here I'm using the clear glitter jelly roll pen because I cannot use the white pencil for highlights, so that's what I'm using instead. Here I mixed in the Ink on 3 Liquid Pixie Dust with water and a mini mister, and I just spritzed it all over the front of the card. You see it makes it nice and shimmery and shiny. You can see the glitter pen as well on the front. And this is the completed card. And here is a second card that I made as a bonus card. I hope you like it. Please click on the bell icon for more videos in the future. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos. Blessings. Bye-bye.